So it looks like Kelly Rowland's marriage with her husband, Tim Witherspoon, ain't as great as she wants us to believe. Because word on the street is, he's very toxic and even stole her money while he was her manager. Tim manipulated his way into Kelly's life when she was at her lowest and tricked her into marrying him. Kelly has been showing signs of her marriage being in them trenches, and she's not very satisfied with Tim as her husband, but a lot of people didn't catch on until recently. There's a very high possibility that she gonna file for divorce way sooner than we think, and her divorce is gonna reveal some news that we never heard before about her very toxic marriage. Now, even though some people weren't expecting this, a lot of people people weren't that surprised to hear all this because there has been some very weird things in their marriage that pretty much made people aware it's not the picture perfect marriage that Kelly's been trying to portray on social media. See, she and Tim met during her days while she was in Destiny's Child after she got introduced to him by her group mate, Michelle Williams. However, it took like 10 years of them just being friends before Kelly even decided to entertain the idea of dating him. The reason it took so long for her to date him is because he was never her type. She was more into the bad boys who she could have a wild time with. You know, somebody that could take her to pound town and still be rough around the edges. See, but Tim was the complete opposite of that. He's like this super quiet, super reserved guy and Kelly didn't really see herself with him. But aside from all that, Kelly was just in a really bad place around the time that she and Tim got involved romantically. She had just broken off an engagement to Roy Williams a few years before that and was also in some serious debt. No one will believe this and actually be the first time I talk about it, but where I almost lost everything because mm -hmm. I was so busy trying to keep up. You know what I mean? Whether it was the look, whether it was the wardrobe, whether it was the car, whether it was the place, whether it was the, you know what I mean? All that silliness. You were rich broke. Rich broke. R rich broke. Her solo career was unfortunately a hot mess as she watched Beyonce become a global icon. Kelly literally went from being in the most successful girl group to now being broke and dumped by her fiance. She was really going through it and really needed somebody. So she gave Tim a chance, even though he wasn't her usual type. They went on their first date and it was actually better than she thought it was going to be. They went to a few more right after that. And by the third date, she already knew he was gonna be her husband. She said, I knew by the third date, I was like, oh my God, I got nervous to be completely honest because I was like, this feels like my husband. Kelly admitted that she initially tried to end the relationship because she was scared of committing to just one person for her entire life, but she changed her mind and decided to keep being in the relationship because she truly believed he was meant to be her husband. I had had the worst relationship and I was so scared and said, how about we take a break from dating. He said, what if we took a break from dating and God sent you a guy and that guy was me. And I was like, click. I hung up the phone. I was scared because I knew he was my husband in that moment. And I almost ran away from that, but I just embraced. He eventually proposed to her over Skype. Yeah, y'all heard that right. This man proposed on Skype. They later got married for real in 2014 in Costa Rica and welcomed their son, Titan, just six months later. However, as soon as they got married, Tim kind of started moving different and he convinced Kelly to fire her manager, Divine Stevens. Tim was already helping and co-managing Kelly even before they got married and after they tied the knot, he reportedly grew insecure about Divine being around all the time and asked Kelly to let him go. According to reports, he told Kelly that he didn't like the way that Divine was handling things, but the real reason for wanting Divine out of the picture was because he was jealous. Kelly did end up firing Divine and Tim became her full-time manager. Now, I don't know about y'all, but female celebrities having their husbands as their managers just never goes well. Just look at where Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunters are now. Oh, but this was just the beginning of the drama because back in 2019, they both sparked divorce rumors when both of them were spotted without their wedding rings. At that same time, she was also attending a lot of events alone, which was a very unusual thing for Kelly to be doing. When one of her friends was asked to confirm if the divorce rumors were true, she said, I heard that too, but Kelly is so private, so I don't know for sure. There were also reports that Tim grew tired of Kelly's jet-setting lifestyle after she became a judge on The Voice Australia, even though he was the one who convinced
convince her to take the gig. Another source also said, Tim intentionally booked Kelly's gig in Australia, as far away from California where his mistress lives. It's like Wendy and Kevin all over again. Chow, you know your marriage in the trenches when people around you start comparing it to Wendy Williams and Kevin Hunter. Anyway, just a year after all this mess, Kelly finally fired Tim as her manager and claimed that mixing business with personal life ain't a good idea. She said she just wanted them to focus on their marriage and take the business part out of it. But a lot of people did not buy this at all because they believed that Tim was probably stealing from her behind her back and she decided to silently fire him when she found out. After this, things did seem to get better for them because back in 2021, they welcomed their second son, Noah. However, fast forward to 2023, the red flag showed right back up. Rumors had started going around that Tim wasn't giving Kelly the attention she was craving for when she showed up in Paris in a see-through dress with her little watermelons all exposed. Now there's nothing wrong with her dressing sexy and showing off a little skin, but people were worried because this isn't really her usual way of dressing. It's almost as if she was craving for some kind of attention that her husband wasn't giving. And what's even more sus about this, Tim wasn't even there on that trip. Now these rumors only got worse after Kelly released her new film, Mia Culpa. The film is very intimate and Kelly getting tossed all over the place and pounded by her co-star, Trevante Rhodes. There were a lot of intimate scenes in the movie, but people were left very disappointed because they felt like the movie didn't have much else to offer outside of the intimate scenes. Kelly later admitted she didn't want to do the film because she wasn't sure how Tim would feel about it, especially since it had so many intimate scenes that required her to be clothless and have Trevante touch in sensitive spots all on camera. But Kelly herself had no problem doing the film. She was more worried about how Tim would feel. In fact, just after she met Trevante for the first time, she called Tyler Perry and told him how excited she was to do the film, especially after getting to meet him. After I met him, yeah. and I said, oh, this is gonna work. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> And it was like in, in the most professional sense, no, no, of course, no, no. of course, no, of course, yeah, of yeah, course. Yeah. But I mean, it was so like I, I felt very supported and respected yeah. mm -hmm. by Trevante. That was the most important thing, and that's why I said, "Oh, this is gonna work." We did have chemistry, of course, but yeah. I felt respected as well as a yeah. woman. Yeah. yeah. It's safe to say Trevante tickled some feelings in her she ain't felt in a hot minute. What's even crazier about this is that Kelly admitted right before she and Trevante got intimate in those scenes, she would call Tim to let him know she was about to go to pound town. I remember calling my husband before it started. I sure did. I said, honey, it's going down, it's going down, it's gonna happen today. And he was like, okay, I'm cool. Aside from this, Kelly was also not wearing her ring during her press tour with Trevante. I don't know about y'all, but considering how Tim literally convinced her to fire her first manager because of how jealous he was, I wouldn't be surprised if he tells her to quit acting because he doesn't like some of the stuff she has to do in the films. Now, as usual, folks had a whole lot to say about this. Like this person who said, she definitely gives off free spirit, wild woman energy. Her husband doesn't seem as outgoing or spontaneous as her. Mia Culpa seemed like she finally got to unleash her spirit animal. Another person said, Kelly absolutely settled. And that's why if she wanted out of Beyonce's shadow, a step, at least in that direction, would have been to marry up, not down. Nothing wrong with her husband, except he obviously can't take care of her. Sadly, she's another black woman financially supporting a man. Kelly took the safe route, not the route that would have suited and served her. Hopefully when she divorces him, he goes quietly. Hope there's a prenup. But now I wanna know your thoughts. Do y'all think Kelly really made a mistake by marrying Tim? And do you believe he's jealous and toxic and that's the reason their marriage is in shambles? Y'all been knew what to do. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And don't forget to click here to watch this other very messy video.